Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of China Tech. And today I just wanted to quickly give you my first thoughts and opinions on this, the ESP32 camera module. So let's jump into it. So if you haven't actually heard too much about the ESP32, just a quick overview is uh, you can see it here. This is the actual ESP32 module. It's kind of like an Arduino in the sense that it's a microcontroller and you can actually program it from the Arduino IDE, but it is a lot more powerful. This module I think has a dual core 160 megahertz program processor so it's a lot faster than the Arduino it's got a lot more flash and RAM as well so your programs can be a lot bigger and it also and this is its biggest feature has Bluetooth and wireless connectivity built directly into the module and so what this board has done is it's actually broken out a few of the pins on the ESP32, but a lot of them go towards running this camera module. So you can see we have this little, I think it's a five megapixel camera module. I'll have a link to this ESP32 cam module at the link in the video description if you want some more information. But yeah, essentially it's this board with this wireless connectivity connected to a camera. And you can also see here, we do have a micro SD card slot if we want to have this maybe off the grid for a while and just sort of saving data to the SD card and then connecting back to it and downloading that data. But that's pretty much the overview of this board. Really all I wanted to do was actually show you the example. So this comes with some example code where we can set up a wireless connection to this board and actually get some data from the camera. So I'll set that up now and uh, we can get to it. All right, and so you can see, I have now just hooked up the ESP32 module. All we're going is we've got the module itself and we've just got some power going to it as well as these two serial pins through this FTDI adapter through a uh, USB hub. And now we, you can see, this is what the serial information is getting sent back from the ESP32. This, this is just data on the frame rate of the video. And now if I swipe across, you can actually see that the ESP32 is actually recording. So you can see we've just connected to its IP address. It's been logged into my home network and you can see it's now actually streaming video footage. So it's pretty good. If I turn down the resolution, you can see it can go right down and actually, I don't know if you can see, but turning down the resolution will obviously speed up the playback. Likewise, if I make it a bit larger, you can see there is a bit of lag. And you can also see included in this example is a whole lot of different effects that we can turn on. So you can see we can do a negative. You can see that we've actually inverted all the colors. So yeah, that was just a quick overview of this ESP32 camera module and just some of the things it can do straight out of the box using the example code. Obviously there's a whole lot more that this module can do, especially with that built-in camera module. Your possibilities really are endless. And along with that, the incredible processing power of that ESP32 chip. So I hope you enjoyed just this super quick overview of this camera module. Again, I'll have a link in the video description, so check it out. Apart from that, thank you for watching another video from China Tech and I'll catch you in the next video.